开机，吓我一跳，怎么样？开。哈哈哈哈哈哈 ！Hello， hello。Okay， so we're still here in Beijing， and after several days of really bad weather， we're on our way to see the Great Wall。More specifically, the Badaling section of the Great Wall, which is the most touristed section, but we don't have much time, so we have to just go for that.、Uh, we're first going to make a stop off at Tiananmen Square, so today will be nice and eventful. So we have to get in this big line across the street. They really like their big lines here. All right, here we go again. Mosh pit, mosh pit, right across over in Tiananmen Square. <laughs> Even though Tiananmen Square is one of the largest public spaces in the world, it's not exactly the type of place that you can just walk into. There are multiple entrance points along the perimeter of the square, and each is heavily guarded by police. So it was a little surprising when we found ourselves standing shoulder to shoulder with 500 of our closest friends for nearly 30 minutes. So there's no traffic. They're letting that group cross over to this side, and we're still all waiting. <laughs> What did you guys think of the mosh pit over there? Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> Makes no sense. No, none whatsoever. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Once we finally made it into the square and cleared the last security check, the significance of where we were began to sink in. This flat open space was easily as fascinating to us as anything we'd seen during our month in the country. There's a rich history behind Tiananmen Square, but most foreigners know it as the focal point of the student-led popular demonstrations that took place in the spring of 1989. After the unexpected death of former Communist Party General Secretary Hu Yabang, university students began to assemble in the square to mourn. However, it didn't take long before things escalated into full-blown protests, calling for government accountability, freedom of the press, and freedom of speech, among other things. After seven weeks of unrest, the top-level leadership of the Chinese Communist Party ordered a military crackdown on the protests, and on June 3rd and 4th, the People's Liberation Army entered Beijing with tanks and assault rifles. The crackdown came to its horrifying climax when the military began firing on unarmed civilians, resulting in heavy casualties. Although the exact number of dead remains unknown, some estimates are as high as several thousand. Since the so-called Tiananmen Square massacre, the authorities in China have gone to great lengths to purge the event from public memory through various forms of censorship. It's not uncommon for many young people born after 1980 to have little or no knowledge of what happened. Okay, so now that we're done at、uh, Tiananmen Square, we're gonna try to attempt to get to the Great Wall by taking public transit. So we need to find bus 919. Which way? This way? Yeah, this way. We're on the bus. So what we have to do, I guess, according to our information, is walk past the line of 919s until the, we get to the very end. At which point? We board a green 919 bus, which will supposedly take us all the way there. We'll see. Is that it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, it's eight seven seven now. So of course the bus changed from nine nineteen to eight seven seven, but at least we found it. We're on our way.
Great Wall of Souvenirs, yes. We are officially at the Ba the Ling section of the wall, which is the most touristed, but uh, that's all we have time for. It's actually okay though, because I enjoy seeing all these crazy tourist traps. It's actually pretty fun. So what the heck is the certificate of gunnies? You know, gunnies. Gunnies? Yeah. Oh, Guinness, I think is what they meant. Cool. Cool, you are officially on the Great Wall of China. At over 21,000 kilometers long, the Sleeping Dragon crosses over mountains, grasslands, and deserts. Construction began as early as the 2nd century BC and continued for over 2,000 years as each dynasty extended the wall one section at a time, eventually making it the longest man-made structure in the world. The wall was built primarily for defensive purposes, but it was also used to control the flow of goods coming into and out of the Silk Road. However, because the wall was not built as a continuous structure, Mongol raiders led by Chinggis Khan simply went around it. These days, the wall doesn't see many Mongol raiders, but it does face another problem, graffiti. In order to combat this, Chinese authorities now encourage visitors to only scribble on designated sections of the wall, so the rest can remain graffiti free. The bottling section is heavily restored and busy, but much like everything else in China, the scale is so massive that it's easy to have a place all to yourself if you put in the effort and the light work. There is a Chinese saying, and it goes, he who has never been to the Great Wall is not a true man. Well, today, I am a man. Go down my hands, burn down my shitty wall. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Give me a bullhorn. Time for the real reason we got out of bed this morning. Overpriced ice cream. Okay. There you go. Compromise. Okay, this is most definitely the steepest section we've tackled today. It culminates at the summit, or what I'm calling the summit anyway. Then we're gonna get some pictures. Probably turn around so we don't miss our bus. Just a few more. You did it, you did it. Take that wall. Yeah. Your greatness. So before we head back down, we're gonna have to touch the guard tower to make it official. Okay. Because we can. Mission accomplished. We're uh, actually taking the footpath <coughs> along the side of the wall so we can see what the outer... <coughs> oh, sorry. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Oh, puppy paws. Sorry. We did it. We did it. Woohoo. So uh, we're actually walking along a footpath that runs on the outer side of the wall so we can see it from a different perspective. And we're going to try to make it to the toboggan so we can go down the rest of the way uh, yeah. to the parking lot in style. Fast. Fast. I got a need for speed. Uh, uh, all right, so looking more and more like the the, fa the fast. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another fan of the beard. Uh, 80 yuan. Holy shitballs. Yeah.